In a groundbreaking achievement, Chinese scientists have successfully tested a compact high-power microwave system, a major milestone in directed energy weapon technology. Capable of firing over 10,000 times, this advanced system showcases China's growing prowess in cutting-edge military technology. Join us as we explore the details of this innovative breakthrough, its potential applications, and what it means for the future of defense technology. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. The Chinese Compact High Power Microwave HPM, system's ability to achieve over 10,000 firings without failure is attributed to several key technological advancements, primarily centered around a novel vacuum technology and phased array transmission. Here are the specific advancements based on available information. 1. Innovative Vacuum Technology The system incorporates a new vacuum technology that enhances the durability and reliability of the HPM weapon. This technology maintains a stable internal vacuum environment, critical for the system's high-intensity electromagnetic pulse generation. By preventing degradation during repeated firings, the vacuum system ensures the weapon's components withstand the intense stresses of over 10,000 pulses, marking a significant improvement over previous designs that struggled with durability under such conditions. 2. Phased Array Transmission Technology Unlike traditional HPM systems that rely on dish-shaped antennas requiring constant rotation, this system uses phased array transmission. This technology allows precise energy focusing, increasing the weapon's effective range and damage potential. It also enables simultaneous targeting of multiple threats, such as drones or missiles, which contributes to the system's efficiency and ability to sustain high firing rates without overheating or mechanical failure. The phased array system's high operating efficiency, reported at 96.6%, further supports its capacity for repeated firings. 3. Waveform Stability The system maintains an unchanged waveform despite the intense firing regimen, a critical factor in its reliability. This stability ensures consistent electromagnetic pulse output, preventing performance degradation over thousands of shots. The ability to preserve waveform integrity is likely tied to advancements in the system's power delivery and control mechanisms, which manage the high energy pulses effectively. 4. Compact Power Source and Efficiency Earlier advancements in compact power sources, such as those developed in March 2023 by Chinese scientists, have reduced the size and energy demands of HPM systems. These power sources, capable of generating up to 10 gigawatts at 10 pulses per second, contribute to the system's ability to operate efficiently and sustain high firing rates. While not directly tied to the 10,000 firing milestone, this technology likely supports the system's overall energy management, enabling prolonged operation. The Chinese Compact HPM system offers a range of potential military applications in modern warfare. Its ability to emit powerful electromagnetic pulses EMPs, to disrupt or destroy electronic systems makes it a versatile tool for both offensive and defensive operations. Here are the key applications, grounded in the system's reported capabilities and general HPM technology trends. 1. Counter Drone and Swarm Defense the HPM system's phased array transmission enables simultaneous targeting of multiple objects, making it ideal for neutralizing drone swarms or unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. By overloading drone electronics, it can disable navigation, communication, or control systems without requiring kinetic munitions. This capability is critical in modern warfare, where low-cost drone swarms, as seen in conflicts like Ukraine, pose significant threats to air defenses, ground forces, and infrastructure. The system's high firing rate ensures sustained defense against large-scale attacks. 2. Electronic Warfare EW. The system can disrupt or disable enemy radar, communication networks, and command and control systems by emitting targeted EMPs. Its compact design and rapid firing capability allow for real-time electronic suppression on the battlefield. Disrupting enemy electronics can create windows of opportunity for friendly forces, degrading situational awareness or coordination. This is particularly effective in contested environments, such as the South China Sea, where electronic dominance is crucial. 3. Anti-Missile Defense The HPM system can target the guidance systems of incoming missiles, including anti-ship, 
ballistic, or cruise missiles, by frying their electronics. Its phased array technology allows precise energy focusing, increasing the likelihood of neutralizing fast-moving threats. This enhances layered defense for naval fleets, air bases, or critical infrastructure, complementing traditional missile interceptors. It could be particularly valuable for protecting Chinese naval assets against U.S. or allied missile systems. 4. Counter-Vehicle and Ground Systems The system can disable the electronics of enemy vehicles, such as tanks, artillery, or mobile command posts, rendering them inoperable without physical destruction. Its portability suggests potential use in ground operations. This non-kinetic approach allows for scalable effects, from temporary disruption to permanent damage, offering tactical flexibility in engagements while minimizing collateral damage compared to explosives. 5. Naval Warfare Integrated into naval platforms, the HPM system could target enemy ships' radar, sensors, or weapon systems, effectively blinding or disabling them. Its compact size makes it feasible for deployment on destroyers, frigates, or even smaller vessels. In naval conflicts, such as potential scenarios in the Taiwan Strait, this capability could degrade enemy fleets' operational effectiveness, providing a strategic advantage in maritime dominance. 6. Infrastructure Attack or Defense Offensively, the system could target critical infrastructure, such as power grids, communication hubs, or air traffic control systems, by disrupting their electronics. Defensively, it could protect friendly infrastructure from similar EMP-based attacks. The ability to cripple an adversary's infrastructure without kinetic strikes offers a strategic tool for coercion or escalation control, while defensive use enhances resilience against asymmetric threats. 7. Airborne Integration for Precision Strikes If adapted for airborne platforms, such as drones or aircraft, the system could deliver EMP strikes against high-value targets, such as air defense systems or electronic warfare assets, from a safe distance. This extends the system's reach, enabling deep strikes into enemy territory with minimal risk to friendly forces, aligning with China's focus on asymmetric warfare capabilities. Comparing the energy efficiency and firing rate of the Chinese Compact HPM system to other nations' directed energy weapon DEW, prototypes is challenging due to limited public data on specific performance metrics, especially for classified military systems. However, Based on available information from web sources and posts on X, we can draw some insights by examining the Chinese system's reported capabilities alongside those of other nations, particularly the United States, which is a leader in DEW development. The Chinese HPM system's 96.6% .6 efficiency in phased array transmission is a standout metric, likely surpassing most US vacuum tube-based systems, Thor, Chimera, Phaser, due to their inherent inefficiencies. The U.S.'s Leonidas, with its solid-state GAN technology, may come closest, as solid-state systems are generally more efficient than vacuum-based ones. However, China's self-contained vacuum technology and compact power source, 10 gigawatts at 10 pulses per second, give it an edge in reducing energy losses, especially for mobile deployment. Russia's systems, reliant on older technology, are likely less efficient, while laser-based systems, UK and Israel, are less comparable due to their different operational profiles. The Chinese system's ability to fire over 10,000 times without failure is unmatched in publicly reported data from other nations. U.S. systems are designed for rapid, repeated pulses but lack evidence of sustaining 10,000-plus shots, focusing instead on swarm or missile defense with potentially lower endurance. Leonidas may have a high firing rate, but its counter-drone focus suggests shorter burst sequences rather than extreme endurance. Russian systems, with limited data, appear to prioritize single or limited pulses, far from the Chinese benchmark. China's dual approach, advancing both vacuum-based and GAN-based HPMs, positions it to leverage the strengths of both technologies, potentially outpacing the US, which faces gallium supply constraints due to China's export restrictions. The Chinese system's phased array technology, which avoids mechanical antenna rotation, enhances both efficiency and firing rate by enabling rapid, multi-target engagement. In contrast, U.S. systems often rely on slower, mechanically steered antennas or less efficient vacuum tubes, though solid-state advancements, such as Leonidas, are closing the gap.
The Chinese HPM system is well suited for integration into existing Chinese military platforms, such as drones and naval vessels, due to its compact design and advanced technological features. Here is an analysis of its potential integration into these platforms, considering technical feasibility, operational benefits, and challenges. Integration into Drones The HPM system's compact size, enabled by a self-contained vacuum technology and phased array transmission, eliminates the need for bulky external pumps or rotating dish antennas, making it suitable for integration into larger drones, such as China's Kaihong, CH, or Wing Long series. The system's earlier power source advancements, for example, a 2023 compact source generating 10 gigawatts at 10 pulses per second, suggest a reduced footprint, critical for drone payloads where space and weight are constrained. Drones typically have limited onboard power, but the HPM system's high energy efficiency, 96.6%, and optimized power management could allow integration into high endurance or larger drones with enhanced power systems. For example, the CH5 drone, with a payload capacity of up to 1,200 kg and a 60-hour endurance, could potentially accommodate a scaled-down HPM system if paired with a compact power source. The system's ability to focus energy precisely and engage multiple targets without mechanical antenna movement is ideal for drones, which require rapid, agile targeting in dynamic environments. This technology enhances the system's compatibility with the fast-paced, multi-target scenarios drones often encounter. Operational Benefits A drone-mounted HPM could disrupt enemy radar, communications, or drone swarms by emitting electromagnetic pulses EMPs, providing a non-kinetic strike capability. This would be particularly effective in contested areas like the South China Sea or near Taiwan, where electronic dominance is critical. The system could neutralize enemy drones or swarms, protecting Chinese assets or creating opportunities for offensive operations. Its high firing rate supports sustained engagements, a key advantage in swarm scenarios. Drones equipped with HPMs could deliver EMP strikes against high-value targets, such as air defense systems or command posts, from standoff distances, enhancing China's asymmetric warfare capabilities with minimal risk to manned platforms. Challenges Even with high efficiency, the HPM system's 3 gigawatt pulsed current and hundreds of megawatt output may exceed the power capacity of most drones, requiring significant advancements in onboard generators or battery technology. Smaller drones, like the DJI-inspired military models, would likely be unsuitable without major redesign. Sustained firing, 10,000-plus shots, generates significant heat, which drones with limited cooling systems may struggle to dissipate, potentially requiring additional cooling mechanisms that increase weight. Integrating the HPM system could reduce the drone's capacity for other payloads, such as missiles or sensors necessitating a strategic choice between electronic warfare and kinetic capabilities. Likelihood Integration into larger, high-endurance drones, such as CH-5 or Wing Long 3, is feasible, particularly for specialized electronic warfare or counter-drone roles. China's focus on drone technology and asymmetric warfare suggests active research into such integrations, though smaller drones may require further miniaturization of the HPM system. Integration into naval vessels The HPM system's compact size and lack of rotating antennas make it highly compatible with naval platforms, from destroyers like the Type 055 to smaller frigates or corvettes. Its self-contained vacuum technology reduces the need for additional infrastructure, simplifying installation on space-constrained ships. Naval vessels, especially larger ones like the Type 052D or Type 055, have robust power grids, such as gas turbine or diesel electric systems, capable of supporting the HPM's 3 gigawatt pulsed current. The system's high efficiency minimizes strain on shipboard power, making it easier to integrate alongside other systems like radar or missile launchers. The phased array transmission aligns well with naval requirements for rapid, multi-target engagement, as it can direct EMPs at multiple threats, such as missiles, drones, or ships, without mechanical repositioning enhancing response times in high-threat environments. Operational Benefits The HPM system could disable the guidance systems of incoming anti-ship missiles, such as U.S. Harpoon or LRASM, 
complementing existing Chinese naval defenses like the HQ-9 or CIWS. Its high firing rate ensures sustained protection against salvo attacks. By targeting enemy ships' radar, communications, or fire control systems, the HPM could degrade their operational effectiveness, creating advantages in naval engagements, particularly in contested regions like the Taiwan Strait or East China Sea. The system could neutralize drone swarms or unmanned surface vessels, which are emerging threats in naval warfare. Its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously is ideal for protecting carrier groups or amphibious fleets. Integrating HPMs into naval vessels enhances China's ability to project power non-kinetically, offering a scalable response option that avoids escalation risks associated with kinetic strikes. Challenges the HPM's powerful EMPs could interfere with the ship's own electronics, such as, radar or navigation systems, if not properly shielded. China would need to implement robust electromagnetic compatibility measures, which could increase costs or complexity. While compact, the HPM system and its power source may compete for deck space with other weapons or sensors, particularly on smaller vessels like corvettes. Larger ships like the Type 055 are better suited but may require integration testing. Naval environments, such as, saltwater corrosion, high humidity, could affect the system's vacuum technology or electronics, necessitating ruggedized designs to ensure reliability during extended deployments. Likelihood, integration into naval vessels is highly feasible, particularly for larger platforms like the Type 055 or Type 052D, given their ample power and space. China's naval modernization efforts, including the development of electromagnetic railguns and laser systems, suggest a strong interest in integrating advanced dues. The HPM system could be deployed as a standalone module or part of a layered defense system, enhancing naval capabilities in electronic and anti-missile warfare. China's compact HPM system significantly escalates the global arms race in directed energy weapons by showcasing advanced capabilities in firing endurance, efficiency, and compactness. It strengthens China's strategic position, particularly in electronic and asymmetric warfare, while pressuring the U.S. to accelerate its DEW programs, for example, Mjolnir and Leonidas, and develop countermeasures like EMP hardening. Russia and smaller powers face challenges keeping pace, potentially leading to alliances or technology transfers. The development drives innovation in solid-state systems, AI integration, and counter-DEW technologies, but also raises escalation risks and economic burdens. Regionally, it bolsters China's deterrence in the Indo-Pacific, shifting military balances and prompting allied responses. Overall, this milestone intensifies the DEW arms race, reshaping technological, strategic, and geopolitical dynamics in modern warfare. If you found this video insightful, be sure to check out other videos on this channel and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.